Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca on the Pinpoint 12 forecast. We've clicked on the Weather Now link on this Wednesday evening, a little after 9 o'clock. Still holding on to cloud cover. It's, essentially, it's been dry. Uh, temperatures near or just above the freezing mark. But we're going to keep an eye on temps falling below freezing uh, overnight early tomorrow morning. Any wet surfaces from today's uh, snow melt and slush melt will refreeze. There'll be, I don't think it's widespread, but there'll be some areas of black ice, mainly secondary roads, walkways, and that kind of a deal. Also, not much in the way of precipitation out there, but uh, some flurries and snow showers are potentially overnight early tomorrow morning. So it's the reason why we have the threat tracker elevated just a little bit. It's not that we're getting a storm on the way by any means, but uh, damp areas refreeze overnight early tomorrow morning. So you know the drill, There's some icy spots and some light snow showers and flurries and a slight chance that there may be just kind of a powdery dusting or coating in spots. As we all know, that's all it takes sometimes to make it a little slick. So just be mindful of that during the uh, early uh, morning hours. Uh, taking a look at temps now again, this is out of around 915. It's already at 32 in Smithfield. I do expect other areas to get near and uh, below freezing mm -hmm. overnight. So when we take a look at um, uh, satellite and radar, it doesn't look like much, but a little precipitation offshore east of Boston and Cape Cod. Uh, but a northeasterly breeze is going to carry some of that moisture inland overnight, especially across southeastern Mass. And that's probably where the better chance of getting uh, perhaps uh, some flurries or some light snow showers, which, which could dust the ground. Here it is in more detail. Take it into uh, this is early at 7 a.m. And you see that little area of uh, light blue and white. Those are just snow uh, showers and flurries that may coat the ground. This is around 7 a.m. That starts to shrink during the afternoon. Here we are at 12 o'clock, still on a cloud cover. So some lingering precipitation out towards the Cape and Islands. We'll get some clearing in here, but probably not till late day and early evening, and especially tomorrow night. Now, what we anticipate later Thursday night, and we've been talking about this now, here we are at 11 o'clock. It's already down to 13, 14 degrees, and this marks the arrival of a bitter blast of Arctic frigid air, increasing wind. So starting late Thursday night, all of Friday, Friday night, Saturday, through at least Sunday morning, some of the coldest air of the winter season, wind chills below zero. Uh, so the real deal here as far as some pretty cold weather on the way. Getting back to early tomorrow morning, again, these areas shaded in light gray, there may be just a, a spotty dusting of snow and some slippery early. So here's the breakdown for Thursday morning. A little slick early in spots. I don't think it's as widespread as it was uh, what we had this morning. Uh, temperatures starting off in the upper 20s, mainly cloudy throughout a better part of the day. We'll see any sunshine would be limited and probably not until late afternoon and early evening. Temperatures reaching uh, the 30s. And then here comes that bitter blast of cold air starting Thursday night and especially Friday through the weekend. Let me show you the wind, uh, the the feel like or the wind chill temperatures. Uh, Friday morning, at, uh, this is about 7 a.m., 10 to 15 degrees below zero, and take you into um, Saturday morning, which would be Friday night, Saturday morning at daybreak. Another day starting off with wind chills of 10 to 15 below. So more than likely during this time period, there'll be some sort of wind chill advisory issued by the weather service. All right, next chance for any decent snow or stormy weather. Still seeing signals in the Monday, Tuesday time frame of a coastal storm with snow, wind, maybe some rain mixing in. But this is the next perhaps decent shot, even though it's five days out, so a lot can change. But the next decent shot of maybe getting some accumulating snow early next week, so stay tuned. But bottom line, five to seven days certainly feature of the look of winter, whether it's very cold temperatures, wind chills, or the chances for some snow. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.